Ryan, what can you tell us about Poker Face? Uh, it's coming up pretty soon that's going to be released. Uh, tell us a little bit about the story. So Poker Face really came from me thinking back to what I was seeing in front of the TV watching as a kid, and that's Columbo, Magnum PI, Rockford Files. This is a case of the week mystery series. You're going to get a new entirely entire mystery in each episode with a whole new cast in each episode. So it's, it's kind of like 10 little mini movies. And it's got Natasha Leone as the main detective, Charlie Kale, and she's on the run across the country. So, But yeah, trying to get back to that kind of um, that style of mystery show that I grew up watching. And how fun is it to write a show like that, especially since you... I'm, I'm familiar with the shows, the Rockford Files, that are growing up. How fun is it to write a mystery like this? It's different from Knives Out and Glass Onion. It's completely different. It's also it's a different form because the, you know Glass Onion and Knives Out those are whodunits. So you have like a, eight different suspects and who could have done it. This is more like this is modeled more after Columbo as a how catch 'em, where we show you who did it and we show you the murder in the first act, and so you know who did it. It's all about how is Natasha going to catch him. And what's fun for that about me is it means I can write a great part for that guest star, and it can really be their episode, and it can really they can be a true guest star of the episode as opposed to just a cameo or something. Um, and that means we got some incredible talent, man. We got some amazing actors that come in, and and each one of them owns that episode. It's fun watching them go head to head with Natasha. And I bet you it's not hard to get any guest stars to come onto the show because after seeing the trailer, it looks like it's going to be a fun show. Is there anybody you could talk about on the guest star front that we are going to see? Oh, my God. Well, I got to work with Joseph Gordon-Levitt, my friend Joe, for the first time since Looper on, on set, which was amazing. And Adrian Brody got to come in and work. Nick Nolte and Cherry Jones and Louise Guzman are in an episode Natasha directed. Um, Lil Rel Howery is fantastic. We had, had so many. Ellen Barkin and Tim Meadows guest star in an episode. I could just keep rattling them off. It's, we had an amazing group. Ron Perlman. Yeah, God, stop me. <laughs> Well, I could go on. I'll let you go on forever because uh, I'm friends with Luis Guzman and he didn't tell me that he was going to be on the show. I was like, he called a good he's secret. He's great, man. He's great <laughs> in it. He's terrific. He's in the episode Natasha directed. I was very jealous of her that he, she got to direct him. And um, one fun story I wanted to ask, one quite fun question. At the end of Knives Out, uh, Dave Bautista, a good friend of ours, gave you a WWE championship yeah. belt. What was it like to get that from him? Because that seems really cool as a gift. So not only did Dave Bautista give me like a championship belt, after, we, after I called cut on his last take, suddenly heavy metal music starts playing. <laughs> And he comes out from behind the scenes holding it above his head. <laughs> I wore it for the rest of the day on set. And it's a very uncomfortable belt. It's like this big as I was like waddling around with this thing on. But I have it up in my office now. It was so cool. He's, I mean, besides Dave being an incredibly talented actor, he is just also one of the sweetest guys in the world. So that, that gift meant a lot. Did it make you feel like wanting to go into the ring? Try it a little bit? I feel like I could take it. I feel like I could. <laughs> I look at Dave and I'm like, I could handle this. Yeah. No, yeah, never, yeah. never, uh, not so much. Same here, my friends used to be in WWE and I'm like, no, oh God, I can't do it. I can't do it. Uh, no, no, no. Thank you so much, Ryan, for stopping with us. We can't wait for uh, Poker Face to come out. Thank you, appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching News by Muse. Don't forget to check us out on the Muse TV network.